The 13th Annual Merit Award Ceremony for Teachers and Principals of Lagos State Education District 6 is an avenue to appreciate and encourage those who have shown perseverance and determination. The education team in District 6, which includes Ikeja, Mushi and Oshodi Solo local government areas, have put in hard work in ensuring the students portray excellence. We are celebrating our teachers and uh, we are rewarding them for a job well done. It's a way of asking them to go back to the students and perform well. I'm asking them to keep it up. They should do their best to prove that they were merited what they collected. Students and non-teaching staff also received a word of excellence. I didn't even expect it. I really appreciate them. I thank them for the organization of the Teachers Award. And I pray that such thing will not cease in our midst, that they should continue. And even my words for the teachers, they should continue. Whatever you are doing, whether you are being supervised or not, just continue to do it. God is there to award you. Principals and teachers will advise to imbibe the culture of a growth mindset and strategic planning while building the future leaders. We are rewarding those that have served diligently and we are using this medium to motivate those that are yet to be up to par so that they will know that whenever they do well, they will be well uh, compensated. It shows that they are recognized, their effort is recognized and by so doing, we are telling them that Whatever labor of love you have rendered to the student under you will be rewarded. They can feel that the government means business. They can see that the government is concerned about their welfare. Just two days ago, the, there was a circular that came out to assure workers that minimum wage will be paid. So it is something for them to look forward to. Even with this thing that is happening right now, it's rewarding excellence. It's telling teachers that no matter what, when you put in your best, God who sees in secret rewards you openly. The awardees, I congratulate them. I congratulate them. It is not every time that you work hard that it is recognized. But thank God that their hard work is being recognized today. But I want to tell them that they should not rest on their hours. Don't let any one of them say because they have won this year, they don't need to put in more effort. Let them put in more effort so that nobody will be able to take that award from them. The awardees were full of joy as they appreciated the district for recognizing them. I feel very happy because this is the word of hard work. I can see it as a, as an, as a reward, not an, as an award. Because I've been on it for long. I, I've been picked on several occasions. As, when I was even in the classroom, as the best teacher, as the best AR tutor, as the best HOD, as best vice principal. And I thank God today that uh, I'm equally topping it by being the best principal in the education district 6. I feel fulfilled and it's time for God to crown my efforts in school. I take care of my children. I go extra mile to teach them on skill acquisition, decoration. I take them outside the school to, for them to learn computer. I'm ready to do more. I'm ready to teach out of the box. I'm ready to to take care of my children like their parents. I have been working tirelessly with my students. I work with them like father, brother, sister, relation, coolness, the relationship. And I just always at the point of my duty as at when due, when I have to discharge my duty. And I do it to the best of my ability. So I will not relent in doing that and I will still add more. Because as I said, 
the reward of hard work is more hard work. Exploring potentials and talents in students in order to achieve desired success is a vital role of the teaching staff in Lagos State. The AOD are therefore expected to put in more effort towards improving education in the state. The 16th of June every year is celebrated as a day of the African child. It was first initiated by the Organization of African Unity in honor of those who participated in the Soweto uprising in 1976. At this event, organized to celebrate the day in Lagos, emphasis was laid on the need to raise awareness of the continued need for improvement of the education provided to African children. Naturally, Education is something that occurs every day, it's something that occurs every moment. But in this case, we are referring to the school environment, where the child is found. We have a good environment for our children to learn in. We have a good environment that they are being instructed in. We have good teachers. We have a lot of facilities. That's available for them. Kudos was given to the Lagos State Government for providing free and quality education. Education should be for all, no matter the background. And uh, we thank the Lagos State Government for key into that vision. Because in Lagos State, there is free and quality education, good environment, qualified teachers. I'm a black child, I am special, I really cook and not swim. I am strong, God's stuff cannot stop me. I hold my head and proudly, proclaiming my uniqueness. I hold my face, continuing for through adversity. I am proud of my culture and heritage. I am proud to that I can achieve my heritage. I am, I am becoming all that I can be. I am the black child, the child of God. The students say they are proud to be Africans. I'm happy to, well, to celebrate the African child. I appreciate the Lagos State Government and I appreciate the districts for celebrating this International Day of the African Child. I am proud to be an African child. I want to say a big thank you to Lagos State for giving us the permission to organize a beautiful program like this and also District 6, our school, Iliquaji Junior Grammar School for hosting a beautiful giant of Africa to celebrate International Day of the African Child. The theme for the Day of the African Child is eliminating harmful practices affecting children, progress on policy and practice since 2013. The event was organized by Giant of Africa. Principals, teachers and students of Education District 6 are celebrating the great achievements of educators in the district. The Tutor General Permanent Secretary of the district says the teachers have shown zeal for effective teaching and learning. We are recognizing our teachers who have done exceptionally well in the year 2019-2020 academic session, who had been, who had been diligent, who had been hardworking who had gone out of their way to make sure that the system, the education system continued, especially during the COVID period. It is very important for teachers to be celebrated. This will act as motivation for them. And this is what we also saw in our governor earlier in the year when he presented 13 brand new cars to teachers and principals. So this is very good and that is why they are, we are celebrating the same thing here in Education District 6. This is being done in all Education Districts and that is why I'm happy to be here. This is a way to go. We cannot motivate them enough. So, um, we are ready to motivate teachers in every aspect because we know their role, we appreciate them and we will seize every opportunity to highlight what we do and appreciate them. There is need for us to say thank you to all these officers who have been doing wonderfully well in different areas, either teaching or non-teaching. Particularly our students, we really appreciate what the teachers are doing for them, for impacting positively into their lives. We say thank you to the teachers and we are reassuring them that the government that we have appreciates teachers.
As a result, we need to put on more and put in more effort in order to ensure that we don't rest on our hands. The best schools, teachers, students and principals in junior and senior categories were awarded for their extraordinary impact. The award ceremony by the Lagos State Education District 6 is geared towards motivating teachers and appreciating their contributions to the success of education in Lagos State. My advice to them is that they should not, no matter the limitation, no matter the opposition, they should stand up, they should study their books, and they should be very, they should stand as ambassadors that will be detrimental to the grandeur of Nigeria. In all ramifications, always read your book, no matter the challenges, no matter what you are facing in your home or schools. When you stand up, there is no how you will not be celebrated. Being a principal is an interesting thing. Number one, forming synergy with students, taking care of them, and then making them, leading them to success. Um, it has been so wonderful. It has been so wonderful. Oh, perfect and well planned and well delivered. My student that got the award today has been awarded another award this morning from my uh, Mathematics Association of Nigeria and he came forth in the old nation. So the award is there too for him. So it's a double honor today. The winners, full of joy, appreciated the governor for the gifts. It's supposed to encourage our teachers to let them know that they now have their reward right here on earth. And even for those who are coming, to know that teaching is a worthy and a noble profession. I want to say a very big thank you to our Miebu hardworking governor for appreciating we teachers today. I have wonderful teachers, wonderful students that are ready to work with me. That is why we could achieve this um, award. And for me, putting in all my all efforts to make sure we make use of technology in my school. To actualize the Greater Lagos vision, quality education must remain one of the solid building blocks. This is why the Babajide Sowulu administration is investing so much in the education sector. To this end, the state government began the commissioning of school infrastructure constructed to create an enabling environment for teaching and learning. After the commissioning of the completed school infrastructure project at Ikeja Junior Grammar School, the Lagos State Governor, Mr. Babajide Sonwolu, who was represented by the Commissioner for Commerce and Industry, Dr. Lola Konde, said the project being commissioned is in line with the education and technology pillar of the present administration's themes agenda. At Oregon Junior High School, the commissioning of the school infrastructure project is a promise kept. The Babajide Sonwulu administration has placed premium not just on infrastructure, but also on other aspects of the education agenda. At the commissioning at Babs Fafunwa Millennium School, the school project was commissioned by the special advisor on housing, Mrs. Toke Benson Awoyinka, who represented the governor. She said the Babajide Sonwulu administration's intervention in education is predicated on revamping the learning and teaching environment to improve quality and deliver excellent results. The renovation of the school building will enable students improve academically. Principals, teachers and students of Education District 6 are celebrating the great achievements of educators in the district. The best schools, teachers, students and principals in junior and senior categories were awarded for their extraordinary impact. The award ceremony by the Lagos State Education District 6 is geared towards motivating teachers and appreciating their contributions to the success of education in Lagos State.